So I just found a new little sweet spot here and I wanted to share this moment with you. Uh, it's right here by a lovely Swedish lake called uh, Albysjön. Uh, and uh, you might wonder how I got here and I'd love to tell you because it was quite a fun journey. I took this little uh, inflatable kayak and yeah, I had to do two lifts finally arrived and my goal is actually to make it to the sea i just have to lift one more time and then um i'll be in the sea um but we'll see it's it's a problem i keep finding these sweet spots along the way it's like no i have to take a little break and sit here for a while so <laughs> we'll see if i get to the sea um either way uh, it doesn't really matter it's good fun to be here Cool, do you remember your videos on Ultimate Guitar? I sure do, man. Thanks for reminding me. Are you from back in the days? <laughs> that was a really nice memory, actually. Um, that's probably the first time I reached like a broader audience. That was, you know, even before YouTube was big. I think YouTube probably existed, but it wasn't even bought by Google. Uh, so um, yeah, that was, that was pretty cool back in the days. Um, and then of course, as I was working with Ultimate Guitar and producing lessons there, that's when kind of YouTube started blowing up. So I remember uploading my stuff there. It's like, whoa, this thing is just crazy. You know, I record a little piece of shit and then it just gets blown up, you know. I don't know if you ever stumble upon like a video from 2007 on YouTube. They're pretty special. You can see the low resolution and, uh, all that stuff but it's um it's, i mean it's it's a piece of internet history and i'm extremely grateful i got to to even be there you were the reason why i picked up the guitar as a kid whoa the shredding was crazy thanks so much man <laughs> that's a real honor to be the reason why you play the guitar because playing the guitar is the best thing that can happen to anybody so awesome man very proud um so yeah, those were the days. I mean, I was recording uh, videos. I think I maybe averaged like one video per month and those were, it was called Shred Masterclass. And I was just, uh, it's actually not that different from what I'm doing now. Uh, basically I would write like a short little etude or something I wanted to show. Uh, and I would show it and I would speak, uh, explain, uh, explain about it. And then of course I would make lots of jokes. <laughs> I, uh, I, I had more, more jokes in my arsenal back then should get back to joking more um it's probably a bad sign if you don't not joking as much but anyhow i don't know i that's what i did and uh, that was appreciated uh, because there were you know guitar lessons on the internet via video was pretty much unheard of it's like everybody feared large file sizes like no 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 no, no. you can't upload a 30 megabyte video no 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 server's gonna crash <laughs> But I didn't care too much about that. So uh, <laughs> we uploaded, I think the largest one was probably several hundred megabytes. Good fun. So yes, thanks for reminding me. So you're still playing? Are you still learning from my content? Or what's your biggest inspiration now? Uh, maybe I can show you a bit of the landscape here. Here we go. Need to remember to pull my stomach in. Can't see. That's good. <laughs> oh man, it's it's good weather today because it's warm, but it's not warm to the point that you have to go swimming every ten minutes. Um, I mean, I like that, but um, what I don't like is the like the making the decisions. Like, am I am I warm enough to jump in the water? No, not quite. I'll wait a little bit more. I don't really like that. <laughs> so. As it is now, uh, you know, I don't really have to jump in the water. I'm not dying of heat yet. The winds are pretty cool, but uh, as long as there's sun, then uh, it's it's a decent temperature. Stella, what's up? <laughs> you never know. T uh, sometimes, you know, the, the app is a bit random. It's like, tell, you have to tell this person hello. It's like, <gasps> Stella, hello. <laughs> I haven't really been playing too much lately, but see you come up on tiktok it was crazy awesome so you haven't seen me on tiktok before this was the first time that's awesome man <laughs> very cool 
So yeah, I didn't have anything super special to share with you. It's just a lovely day and uh, just really nice going out on the water. I'm a big fan of kayaking, especially inflatable kayaks, because um, it's a bit like bringing your bed out on the water. You can just lay down and it's it's awesome. Um, uh, so inflatable kayak, if you have the opportunity to try one or get one, it's it's pretty awesome stuff. And of course, uh, it makes it a lot easier than having to deal with a like a real kayak or any type of boat that isn't inflatable. Is of course, uh, you know, you need a car and you need lots of different things to just get around with it. Uh, so yeah, um, but um, uh, yeah, that, I can show you it some more here. Let me just see if I can turn the screen around. I just have to figure this out. Come on. Oh, there we go. This lovely little kayak. So I just dragged it up on the cliff now. I don't want to leave. I just have to push it back in the water, and I'm I'm good to go. Uh, and here you have the the little Swedish lake in the southern part of Stockholm. Uh, you know, so I'm I'm I, you know I'm close to the decently close to the city center, so there's quite some people out here and. Uh, if I had the choice, I'd, I'd, I'd rather be alone with the lake. But you know, that's just how it how it is when you live uh, next to a city here. Uh, I mean, it's still uh, not. I mean, Sweden, as you might be aware, is not very densely populated. So if you find a lake that it's like two or three hours drive outside of the city and it's not close to any of the big roads, then you can pretty much have it for yourself, almost. Um, and there's a special feeling to that. I don't know why, but there's something intriguing about, you know, being alone in nature, especially like on a, on a lake where you have the view and you can really tell that it's just me and Mother Nature. I don't know. Somehow it speaks deeply to my soul. I, uh, it's, it's hard to explain, but it's uh, it can be a little bit scary as well. Um, it's been a while now, but when I used to go hiking. And I would be away for a week. I remember the first evening and the first night, it, it would be weird. It, you know, I would have a really s strange feeling. Uh, not necessarily a pleasant feeling. I, I knew that it would pass, but it was like a feeling of, you know, being really alone. Not necessarily lonely, but alone. And uh, that can be a little bit creepy. But I knew from experience that you just have to endure it the first uh, 24 hours and then you'd be good to go and then it would pretty much be the opposite when you come back it would feel really weird oh man what's this lots of people everywhere uh, that's just how it goes um, but yeah it's, it's something intriguing about being by yourself in, in nature if you haven't done it give it a shot uh, I know that can be more or less difficult depending on where you live but hopefully you have a some nice areas you can visit. Let's see if I missed any comments. So, yeah, so of course uh, I do miss my guitar. Uh, keep thinking maybe I should, should throw in a small travel guitar as well, but I don't know. Usually these trips are kind of short, you know, a couple of hours. Tyberg, känner jag för du är en riktigt trevlig kille, men tack Tyberg, stort tack. Du låter också trevlig, så jag tror vi är två. <laughs> Vad befinner du dig Tyberg? So I have a fellow Swede here, I have to ask where he is. Maybe he's sitting on the other side of the lake, you never know. <laughs> we could we could like wave at each other, that would be fun. Um, Jävle, okej, okay. yeah, we can't wave at each other, but we could meet up. You know, halfway, and it wouldn't even take us one hour if we both, you know, took the car car towards each other. So it's close. It's pretty close. I mean, after all, Sweden isn't. It's not a big country population-wise, but it's a pretty geographically. It's a pretty long country, so we could be very far from each other. Um, of course. The internet brings us all close, doesn't it? So it doesn't really matter. But that's why it's a bit crazy when you speak to someone who actually lives close to you, because the majority 
with the people you speak to there on the other side of the globe and uh, you know and, and that's of course the the whole point i i guess and that's what's so cool you can just totally erase the geographical and sometimes even cultural borders and just you know interact with people thanks to this new medium that i just discovered because i'm a boomer <laughs> just kidding yeah you get the point <laughs> Cool guys, so uh, let me know if there's something you want me to do here, except jumping in the water with my clothes on. <laughs> um, it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's really nice here. I, it's just, uh, when I come to these kind of places, I just, uh, I just try to not really think of anything special. Uh, I know some people get a bit nervous and stressed out when it's like, oh, what am I gonna do? I'm just here, I'm not doing anything. And you know, I can, I can be like that as well. So it's something you try, have to try to be in control of. Uh, but um, what I found is if I'm, if I'm in the right mood, uh, part of the key is of course, don't do this unless you're somewhat know that you're gonna be able to relax for a few hours. If you can't do that, maybe just go out for a walk or go jogging is better. But if you do have a couple of, if you have an afternoon to spare and you know that you won't be stressed about anything, then it's a really nice thing to just let the mind wander. Because um, what that does is your brain is automatically going to start dealing with lots of little things that it hasn't had the time to process. And that, that can sometimes feel a little bit... Well, it has to process stuff, some of which might be traumatic to you or whatever, so it can feel a little bit weird, but it's, it's a good thing to let the brain do its thing. And some people don't want to do that, so they don't want to expose themselves to going outside and let the brain work. Uh, you know, as soon as the brain starts working, they need to, you know, drink some alcohol, whatever. Just, I don't want to, I don't want to touch those things. But um, if you can, if you have the courage to let your let your mind rest and let your brain process all those unprocessed thoughts and experiences that are just, you know, waiting at the back, in the back of your head. Then uh, that's a good thing. Let it happen. Now, whether it be with a inflatable kayak or just any other way you can think of, it doesn't really matter. Uh, it's, it's a matter of finding, finding the things that work for you, right? So... William, vad jobbar du med? Uh, jag jobbar med gitarrundervisning. Så att, uh, and I can answer in English. So what do I work with? Well, I teach guitar. And I, uh, you know, I'm, I teach online. I've been doing that for almost 20 years. Uh, I started, uh, or to keep the long story short, it's the guitarmasterclass.net website that I work with the most. But recently I've also started working with my own uh, christopherdahl.com site uh, and uh, also Patreon. Uh, so a lot of the stuff you see me do here when I post videos or when I just interact with you guys is somehow related or actually sponsored by my activities with, uh, you know, guitar lessons. I wouldn't say sponsored by because there's no third party. It's just me, right? Uh, but uh, yeah, that's what I do. Uh, and uh, if, if, if there weren't a few of you guys actually... You know purchasing my stuff uh, i wouldn't sit here and speak to you guys uh <laughs> i could wouldn't be able to devote the time i'm able to to do thanks to that so i'm really grateful to you guys for checking out my stuff uh and uh yeah and believe it or not but some people actually find my stuff really helpful so so they're happy they they've checked out my stuff uh, if you don't if you have no clue what i'm speaking about you can just go to my um, profile page of course and you're gonna Click the little link there and you've done it before and there you're going to see what I'm speaking about. <laughs> okay. No missed comments. That's good. You have to keep track of all the, all the incoming stuff. Yeah. So, what can I say? Go out and enjoy nature while you can. Life is short. <laughs> I don't know how this turned depressive all of a sudden. Shouldn't be. Life is fun. That's what I meant to say. Life is fun when you're outside in nature. <laughs> uh, 
too. Okay, guys. Well, let me know if you have any thoughts or anything. Uh, I didn't really have anything more planned to tell you guys. Just, just thought I'd share this nice moment with you. And hopefully I can get moving and I'll end up kayaking in the sea. We'll see if that happens. <laughs> Sehr schön, as they say in Germany. Haha. <laughs> have a good one. See you. Cheers.